Hi there, my name's Andy and I just wanted to share this with you. This is a neodymium magnet out of a computer hard drive and uh, it's extremely powerful. Um, this is the hard drive uh, that the magnet's out of. Be very careful if you play with these because uh, they will bite your fingers uh, and say incredibly strong. In fact, it's, uh, it's probably the strongest magnet uh, for its size that I've seen. And um, I've got a sheet of copper there, so that's a two millimeter thick copper sheet. And if I drop the magnet onto it, that, it's as if the magnet is sticking to the copper, but we know the copper is uh, um, non-magnetic. What's happening is as the magnet moves, uh, lines of magnetic flux couple with the copper and that creates uh, an electrical current in the copper. That electrical current creates a magnetic field. The magnetic field is in opposition to the uh, magnetic field of the magnet and the two opposites attract. And uh, for all intents and purposes it looks as though the copper has become magnetic and uh, I'll show you that effect with some uh, other metals. So that's the sheet of copper and uh, there's the little magnet. What I've got here is four sheets of different types of metal. At the top is uh, aluminium, uh, then there's brass, then a sheet of lead and a sheet of copper. So they're all non-ferritic materials, they're all non-magnetic. Uh, that board is at uh, 40 degrees to horizontal and the only magnetic material there is my G-clamp that's holding the board. So I'll just drop the magnet on. I like that, so I'm going to do it again. That's the brass and the lead and then the copper. So it started off with the aluminium at the top. So that's the aluminium, then the brass, then the lead, and then the copper. <laughs> and the G-clamp. You'll see it goes slowly over the aluminium, then quicker over the brass, a lot quicker over the lead, and then it slows down again over the copper and that's because of the different electrical resistivities the electrical resistance uh, the copper has got the uh, the lowest resistance uh, then the aluminium then the brass and then the lead and the lower the electrical resistance the higher the current the higher the current the stronger the uh, magnetic field that's produced Anyway, if you do play with these magnets, I say do be very careful because uh, they can hurt you. And uh, anyway, I hope you found that interesting. It was a bit of fun, and thanks for watching. Bye bye. What's happening is as the magnet passes over the copper, it produces a current in the copper. That current in the copper produces uh, magnetic field uh, that is opposite to the magnetic field in the magnet and uh, those opposites attract and it causes the magnet to stick to the copper or at least to the magnetic field so it appears as if it's sticking to the copper and that feels really odd <laughs> and uh, as I push it so there is resistance um, and I'll show you 
uh, that effect with some other metals. There's got to be some good uses for these guys. 